What's up, babes? It's Curly to Victoria. I'm back with another video. If you babes are new here, hi, welcome to my channel. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. So, y'all, my signs got a little ruined. Um, hold on. I'm a little struggling, but they're in my car, but House of Lux Realty. So, this is my brokerage. This is my brand. They got ruined in the car oil uh gas built on them and like just dealing with moving in hurricane they've kind of just gotten messed up but anyway to make a long story short your girl is going to be working on her boss boss up era um where you guys know that i'm gonna be getting back to working out i'm gonna get get back to getting fine i'm getting back to everything that has to do with curly to victoria okay so long story short i just came from the store i'm actually about to walk in the house and talk to I just talked to a client that I have. They lost everything during this hurricane, through the first hurricane. So imagine the second one. They lost everything already. They're literally desperate to find somewhere. So to me, knowing that somebody's desperate for shelter is a priority to me. So it doesn't matter what I have going on, what I wanted to do today. It does not matter when a client hits my line and tells me that they're desperate for a property. I, that's what I'm working on. Whether you're renting, you're buying. Now, there are some real estate agents and brokers who don't want to work with renters because essentially you really don't make money off of working with renters. But because my heart is in this business to help people, my heart is in this business, obviously I'm going to make money. Um, just like I'm in a lucrative field, but I also have a heart that whether or not I had to make $50 off of helping somebody $0 or a million dollars, I'm still going to have that energy to want to help you get to the next level. So with that being said, I'm not going to reject her because I can make little to no money off of actually finding properties. I'm still going to act as though if this property in front of me was a million dollar property. So long story short, that's what I'm going to be working on. So anyway, like I was saying, y'all, when somebody tells me that they need a home, someone tells me that they need a rental, I'm the one who's going to be willing to help. I know, like I said, people don't like to turn their wheels with something that's not going to make them money. Um, but for me, like I said, when I hear somebody cries of desperation, even when we got off the phone, my client was like, just hearing you say that you will search and send me things is just making me already feel a little better because they've lost everything. Car went in the water. Like there were places that were so flooded that people's cars were floating away. They happen to be in this area and they are desperate to find a place. So if I can do anything about it, I'm going to do that. So today I'm about to send the properties, have my client find the ones they like, and then we're going to set up showings for me to be able to get into these properties, see these properties and have this client be able to have somewhere to move. I'm going to reach out to an investor. I know, um, through, you know, uh, of obtaining a property and just see if there's anything that they can do to get this family moved into any of these properties. So if you're looking to like i said buy sell or invest feel free you know so that's literally how i'm feeling right now i just a whole bunch of ideas just went off in my mind like a whole bunch of ideas just went off in my mind Anyway, to make a long story short, I'm going to be working on upping my investments, like as far as my financial portfolio, I told you guys that I'm just very like, especially at this age and stage of my life, I'm obsessed with expanding my assets. Um, what can I get? What can I buy? And then I'm also obsessed with obviously helping people be able to better themselves. That, that makes my spirit feel good. So those are things that I'm working on. And then also just being able to um, build my business. So as I'm building my business, I'm building my brands, I'm expanding my business, I'm expanding my brands. I want to be able to add in little things like, oh, okay, I just expanded my brand. So now, boom, I'm going to go buy property or I'm going to go invest in land or I'm going to go invest in something, very much something that's going to be an asset while simultaneously helping people. So I am doing the things that I love encompassed in one between my fashion, between my content, between helping people, between building up my portfolios and financials. I literally met a lady yesterday whose son needs a home. Right now they're not too happy with the realtor that they're using. I'm not gonna go into details, but long story short, my energy, my vibration, giving my business card, me all of this, 
with something that she felt like she was in alignment with and her son too might be in alignment with. So that might be a client who's already pre-approved, pre-qualified that I might be able to help buy. Then we have the woman um, that I was telling you about, the client. And then I also have my agent who's a part of the brokerage. We have biz, uh, two new constructions that we're working on that I was telling you guys about. So right now I have potentially two, we have two um, new constructions and then I have two, one client who might want to rent, one client who, or who needs desperately to rent and another client who wants to move, who's been pre-approved. So right now we have some strong leads is what I'm saying. Two of them are, two of these properties are solidified, they're ours. The renter who needs somewhere to go, solidified. I'm with her. She needs me. The other person whose son needs uh, another agent, solidified. Partially. Partially. Um, so, yeah, that's just really been my thing. Just striving to work with those who I knew the, know need the assistance and just doing and being everything that I need them to do and be. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to the things that God has for me. There's so many things that I need to work on. There's so many things that I just truly need to do to become everything and all that I need to become. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm striving to do. That's what God has called me to do. I know that I'm in the lane that I'm supposed to be in. I'm going to write out my calendar today. I have one of my homeboys is coming in town. Landon's like my brother. Like we met, we were in middle school, high school, like I think at some point he's going to come into town um, within the year and I'm going to have to link up with him. I'm putting that on my calendar. You know, just there's a lot of things and people who are requesting my time and I just want to be able to schedule it in and make sure that I can make the time. I know I have a lot going on, but I'm striving the, my best to juggle what I have. God never said anything was going to be easy, but he definitely said it would be worth it. And we don't have because we don't ask, we don't receive. You're not gonna, if you don't ask, you don't receive. You don't knock, the door won't be open. You don't seek, you won't find, right? So those same core principles are the things that I need to do. I'm gonna take my multivitamins, I'm gonna drink my water. Your girl's about to get his body back. I just handed out three business cards while I was in a grocery store because your girl's not playing. People are going through it with this hurricane, but also I am building my business, I'm building my brand. I'm being very consistent in what the things that I said that I'm gonna do. So for me, I'm like, of course, of course your girl is going to sit here and hand out business cards. Of course your girl is going to obtain business. I'm from Florida. You know what I mean? So obviously I don't want to have to come into business endeavors under the circumstances that we are fighting with certain people. But at the same time, it's like it's a blessing in disguise to be able to build my business, but also simultaneously be helping someone. So there's a two, there's a two for two benefit there or a two-in-one benefit. I'm benefiting from it for building my business and, and making me some money. They're benefiting from it because they're having a trusted person who's going to work on their behalf unapologetically at all times. So that's that. Work smarter, not harder. Make it make sense, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I don't even do it right anymore. At one point, I was doing it real good. But long story short, I know that God is taking me places and I'm, I couldn't be more excited. God is literally taking me to the places that I have been wanting to go. And I'm grateful. Yes, I'm hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful for today. Take this music and use it. Let it take you away. Be hopeful, hopeful. And you'll make a way. I know that he's able. No, I really do miss that song. Anyway, long story short, y'all. Today has been a very... Uh, such a start to my day. Um, I'm about to get in there and get some things done. Hustle work. Hustle and motivate. My tripod is in the car. I need to take this bad boy out, baby. I put it in here yesterday. But it really needs to come out. 
so I can make my content. And I need to start making videos again, so I need to make some videos on like what I'm wearing in the fall, what I'm doing, etc., to get back fine or what you could be wearing for business wear because I miss doing those videos it's fall I want to talk about like outfits that I put together on fall um to go handle business or just to be that girl put together but girl gotta lose weight I'm not saying that I won't do none of the videos but your girl gotta lose weight sorry that was a little loud about it there's something about me looking my best and when I say best like in shape the way I want to be when I'm putting these outfits on because baby they hit different for me and for you I could put an outfit on it's gonna be like oh that's cute but baby it's body banging body t body is bodying when your girl is in shape periana periana but anyway y'all my hair is growing long it's stupid dumb long stupid dumb long okay we've talked about it girlfriends but I do want to post this video just talking about you can do it God's got you those are my goals for today. About to go work on these clients. I'm not going to text the other lady back, the potential client being her son, until probably the end of this week or next week. I might give her a call, but I'm going to wait to see if she hits me up. Because I think she said something about next week. She might see them. So I'm going to see if she doesn't hit me up, then I'll follow back up in about a week or so. But I hit her up last night. She hasn't replied back. So she could just be busy or maybe she just trying to stay out of it and just want to pass on my information she has my business card so i just wanted to warm thank you for her actually meeting me and passing along my information that was all and then i guess you know we can talk about it later but right now i'm about to go work on the two new construction properties that i'm about to go work on the client that i told you guys about um she's working i can hear that she was working now so i can send her a lot of properties so your girl's gonna do that now Neil. well not right now but I'm about to start setting properties. I wanted to get on here and let you guys know. I'm going to be doing my day in the life vlogs. I do need to um, just stay up on my content between my hair, between my vlogs, between, you know, what I'm wearing in a day, how I'm planning to do X, Y, and Z. I need to I need to stay on top of what I said. I'm going to stay on top of. Because the best is yet to come. I believe it. I know it. I believe it. I know it. I'm going to receive it. Building up my financial portfolio, my assets, as I said before, and I would hope that you all will start to do that. And if you're thinking like, how do I get started with a financial portfolio? What do I need to do? Girl, we'll talk about it in another video, but long story short, things, things that are liability cost you money, cost you time, cost you all of these things, right? You literally have no liquidation out of a liability, right? But assets have liquidation, which I can convert those into cash. I could sit here and... Um, have something that has value right that's what assets are so you want those assets that you're acquiring to make sense real estate greatest return on investment whether you own land you own property you own whatever the roi on real estate is always going to be great also they're not making any more land sis so if you're buying lots and lands and things like that just remember you can always build on them later if that's what you want to do but acquiring real estate is essential when you want to build generational wealth, when you have children and you want to leave them something outside of something like uh, materialistic, you want to send them, leave them assets, monetary value that is attached to those things, then start getting acclimated with those types of things. There's a lot of money to be made. You just got to use your brain and figure it out. And it's not going to come overnight. So don't think I'm telling you like, oh, there's a lot of money out there. Go get it right now. Yeah, go get it right now. But if, if you really have a vision, you're going to have to work toward that vision and then start seeing yourself reap the benefits. Also, my line sister, my line sister, my line sister, my soror, my LS. Uh, let me be quiet. If you guys didn't know, <laughs> I don't really talk much about being in my sorority. It's not that I like shun it. I just don't always talk about it. Like if you know, you know. But you guys know that I'm a Delta. I have been Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Dun, da, da, da. Dun, da, da, da. Did y'all like that? Dun, da, da, da. Anyway, so when I say my LS, that's what I'm referring to just in case. Because I do get people might hear me say LS and be like, hold on, what sorority are you in? I'm a, I'm a Delta, but that's neither here nor there. I was actually just bringing up one of my LSs. That's all I was trying to get to. So my LS used to be buying my lashes all the time shout out to you sis if you're watching this video 
and she used to love the lashes that I uh, was selling at one point and I definitely want to bring them back to my cosmetic line and I definitely want to get my cosmetic line and hair and all that stuff back up and running because at one point I was doing real good I was selling lipsticks in Cali I was selling lipsticks here people were buying it for different places and it just got to a point where um, it kind of went down here a little, little bit. I got really busy. I wasn't being as consistent. I ran out of my popular lipsticks and I just never, because I was uh, making them in bulk and working with my chemist and all that stuff in bulk, I was just like, okay, which ones am I going to do? Am I going to stick to this? Am I going to do da, 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 da. So I feel like my cosmetic line has been up and down. Like people were really shopping it. And then like, if I took a declination, then so did the business. So that's why I'm really at a place where I know that I have a lot of talent and I have a lot of um, ideas and things like that that could be brought to my reality, but I have to stay focused on the grounded things that I have. So like I wanna focus on my real estate brokerage and building that, et cetera, and utilizing this as leverage to basically make my other companies go round and round. Then I wanna be able to put people in place who are gonna do this and that for me um, when it comes down to the brand and be able to really take care of I have somebody who's shipping out my orders because maybe my orders become too big or too full. I want to be able to be like, okay, instead of paying the minimum wage, I want to pay them good money. That's the problem. People will really have a good assistant. People will have a really good employee and they will want to pay them pennies on a dollar. But when you have quality products, you are a quality person and you realize that you have quality employees or quality people working under your brand, you want to treat them as such. They're not just the footstool. You want to treat them as you are somebody, you have bills to pay, you're worth it, I see what you're worth, and I'm going to make sure that you're getting your coins. Obviously, if I had you in the beginning, because I'm building up and my business isn't there yet, I'm going to explain like, hey, you're going to start at minimum wage, but when we booming, baby, you booming. Simple. Because I think you need to reward good behavior, one, but also reward those who are doing great things for you and your brand and your business. Don't ever forget about the people who make your business go round and round. So CFOs, CEOs, entrepreneurs, real estate brokers, whatever the case may be, whatever the industry may be. If you have people who are pushing your business on an everyday basis, there's never a time in which you should not value those people who you are working with. Yes or yes, you should be valuing them. So don't ever look at them as like, oh, I don't need you or you're replaceable because a good employee, a good worker is not necessarily replaceable. A body is replaceable to fill in the fact that they're no longer there, but the mind, the soul, and the dedication of a good worker, a good employee is not easy to be found. You may have to go through a hundred resumes before you find one good person that you feel like is fit your brand, fit your business. So don't downplay the people who are making sure your business go round and round. Because if you were sick for a week or a month or two and your whole company was functioning off of the, your foundational people who make your daily operation your daily operation go round and round, your business wouldn't be staying afloat if it weren't for those people. So be grateful for the people who you do have. Treat them as though they are someone. Don't sit here and disrespect them. Don't sit here and treat them like they're anything less than great. So if you want greatness to come to you, then make sure you're great to other people. The greatness is within you. It's not on me. It's in me. You feel me? So make sure you all like, comment, share, subscribe. The best is yet to come. Remember, knock and the door will be open. Seek. You will find. Ask and you shall receive. And I hope you get all the blessings that God has coming for you. I do got a hair video that's going to go up highly today. I was about to film it now, but my camera looked like it just darkened, which means that it's either about to hit a temperature heat or my battery's about to die. So I'll see you babes in the next video. Thanks for tapping in. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and see y'all later.